Hey there, I'm Emma from mm, English. Today, I'm going to help you to practice your pronunciation. I've got 20 English verbs that my students often mispronounce. And these are all essential business English verbs, ones that are really useful in the workplace. But most of them are actually really common in everyday English as well. You'll read them in the newspaper, you'll hear them in films or in podcasts, even if it's not specifically about business or work, right? If you stick with me throughout this whole lesson, you will definitely be sounding more professional, communicating more clearly. I think we should just get into it. As I said, I have 20 business English verbs to go through with you today. And the reason that many of my students have trouble pronouncing these words is syllable stress. Where to put the stress in the word? Which vowel sound is the strongest and the clearest? And I wonder how many of them you've been mispronouncing without realizing it. The good news is it takes a little practice, some regular practice, to break your pronunciation habits so that you can finally start pronouncing these words correctly, communicate clearly and effectively and successfully. So I'm gonna go through all of them one by one, but later on in the lesson, we're gonna practice using them together in longer sentences because this is often where things get tricky when you start pushing other sounds and other words together around these words. So let's start really simple with share, share. So we start with that sh consonant sound, but that vowel sound may be a little different than you think, right? It's not ah, sha, it's not sha, but air, share. So it's that air as in hair vowel sound. Sh, air. Share, share. In my Australian accent, you don't hear that er sound at the end. It's just finishing on that vowel sound. Share, share. Another really common verb is answer, answer. Now notice that that W is silent, right? It's not answer. Answer. And that's where some of my students get a little stuck, right? That W is silent. Answer. Answer. Which makes it a little easier than trying to pronounce that sound, right? Answer. We're going to get into some more advanced verbs very soon, but it really is quite common for my English students, even my advanced students, to still be making pronunciation mistakes like these. Pronunciation habits are tricky ones to break, so don't feel bad if you're just realizing that you've been making some mistakes with your pronunciation. Today is an awesome day because you get the chance to fix them. Let's keep going. Accept. Accept. So these two consonants here are exactly the same, right? But they're pronounced differently. So it's not accept, but Accept, accept. So there's a stop on that k sound to help you ease into the next syllable. Accept. The first syllable is unstressed, right? So it reduces down to that schwa sound. Accept. The second syllable is the stronger one. It's clearer. You can hear it very clearly, right? Accept, accept, accept. A quick note. If you would like to learn a little bit more about syllable stress in English, then I will definitely link to a great lesson of mine at the end of this video. You can catch it up there if you need it. Focus, focus. You don't wanna mess up the pronunciation here. Kinda of like share, the vowel sound might be a little different to what you think, okay? It's a long diphthong sound. O, oh, as in go, right? Not O oh, as in hot, okay, it's not focus, which sounds a little rude, okay? It's not focus, it's focus. So see the movement in my mouth when I make that sound? Focus, O, oh, 
oh, oh. There's movement in my mouth as I'm making that one sound. Focus, focus. Present, present. So when you're using the verb form of this word, you really need to focus on syllable stress, right? Because it's also common to hear present with the stress on the first syllable. It can be a noun or it can also be an adjective, present. But when you're using the verb form, you really need to shift that stress onto the second syllable, right? Present, 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 produce, produce. So notice where that stress is there as well. It's on the second syllable, produce produce. There are some slight variations in how native speakers pronounce this word. You will hear some Americans saying produce, d -d -duce, which might be a little easier, but in my accent, produce, j -j juice, like in jam, j jam, produce, purchase, purchase. So with this one, we really do need to focus on syllable stress, all right? Because many of my students pronounce or they put the stress on the second syllable, which is incorrect. It's not purchase, purchase, that's incorrect. That's pronouncing both syllables with equal amount of stress, right? And of course, this rarely happens in English. We usually have one syllable that is stronger than another. So here, the correct pronunciation is purchase, purchase. Can you hear that weaker syllable in the second syllable? Chus, chus. We use that schwa vowel sound. Purchase, purchase. Risk. And finally, a one syllable word where we don't need to worry about syllable stress, right? But now we've got a different problem. We've got a very tricky set of consonants. We've got sk, sk. It's really, really tricky to push those two sounds together, right? As always, when you have two consonant sounds or even three together in English words, the best way to practice is to slow write down and practice the, the two sounds next to each other as closely as you can without adding any extra sounds, just pausing between them. Try and bring them closer together, make them a little closer. Consider, consider. This is a really great, more advanced word to use instead of think. It's a great way to sound more professional and to upgrade your English. Consider. Can you hear the stressed syllable? Where is it? It's in the middle. Consider. But it's not I, all right, it's that short vowel sound. There it is. Consider, consider. So even though it's a stressed syllable, that vowel sound is still short, though it's the strongest one, okay? And naturally, the other two syllables, either side, they reduce down, all right? They're unstressed. So they are lower in pitch, they're softer, you don't hear them as loudly as the middle one. Consider, consider, consider. Measure, measure, measure. Probably the trickiest thing about this word is that consonant sound in the middle. Zh, zh. You know the sh consonant sound, right? Sh. Well, this sound is the voiced pair to that sound, which means that we need to activate our voice box in order to make it, right? Shh is made with air. Shh, you can feel that air coming out. But zh is made with your vocal cords back here. Less air, more vocal cords and vibration. Zh, zh. 
measure, measure. Now listen to the difference between the two vowel sounds in these different syllables. Me, je, e, 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 e. Okay, so there's a difference in the way that the vowel sound is pronounced as well. Measure, identify, identify. That stress is on the second syllable, right? Identify. The others are short, they're quick. Identify, identify. Multiply, multiply. So take a look at the stressed vowel sound, right? It's short, it's that uh sound as in up, not multiply, not multiply, but mul, multiply, uh, uh, multiply, multiply. Develop, develop, develop. Now this one is tricky for my Indian, Ukrainian, Russian students, anyone who doesn't have the v consonant sound in their native language, right? Often you will mispronounce this word as develop, develop, okay? But this can get you into trouble. So really spend some time focusing on that sound, okay? We want the bottom of your top teeth here to be touching on your bottom lip. Mm. Mm. Of course, this sound is voiced, so we need to activate your vocal cords. Mm. Mm. Develop, develop. We wanna see those teeth, all right? We don't want mm. develop, develop. Get those teeth out touching that lip. Mm. Develop develop. In fact, while we're at it, let's also talk about value. Value, all right? Value as a verb is a useful one to use professionally. It helps you to talk about things that are important to you, um, your team, your organization. You can also use it to talk about financial value as well. So it's value, not value. Keep practicing if you're finding it a little tough. Value, value. Can you also hear that y sound in the end there as well, right? Value, value, you, you. Not value, value. Determine, determine. Not determine, all right? That last syllable is unstressed. The vowel sound is short, Reduces right down, determine, determine, determine. Exchange, exchange. Eee, there are quite a few crazy looking consonants going on there, aren't there? Let's just break it down a little. That first syllable is unstressed, so it's lower in pitch and it's quick. X, X, X. Just like six, but without the S. Then our second syllable is our stressed syllable, right? So it's stronger, it's clearer, it's louder than the first one. And that vowel sound is the A diphthong sound. A, A, as in day, right? Same sound. But either side of that sound, we've got an interesting consonant pair, right? These two sounds are related the ch consonant sound, ch, ch. See how my lips are flaring out to make that sound? My teeth are together, ch, ch, ch. This sound is unvoiced, okay? It's made with air coming through your mouth and making that sound, ch. But if we keep our lips and everything in the same position, we change that unvoiced sound to be a voiced one using our vocal cords, J, j, j. These two sounds are the ones either side of our stressed vowel sound. Ch, ange, ch, ange, exchange, exchange, analyze, 
analyze. So we're starting with a really strong stressed syllable here. An, an, a, a, an. But then the schwa sound, an unstressed syllable, follows. An, 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 lie, an, lie. Then we add that z voiced sound at the end to finish things off. Analyze, analyze. Sometimes this verb is mispronounced because it's quite similar to the noun analysis, right? Analysis is the result of this action, right? To analyze. So when you say it, make sure you feel and you hear that final consonant sound. Analyze, analyze. Right, for all my Vietnamese speakers, make sure you hit that final consonant sound, okay? Same with authorize, authorize. Starting with or as in door, followed by the th sound, th, or th, or th, right? It's the unvoiced th sound made with air, followed by the schwa, or th. Auth, authorize, authorize. Distribute, distribute. Say it with me, distribute. Can you notice where the stress is? It's in the middle, right? It's on the second syllable. Distribute, distribute. That first syllable is unstressed. Dis, dis, distribute, distribute. And the last trickiest one, negotiate, negotiate. The end of the word is really tricky, right? It doesn't really look like how it should sound. Really, it's pronounced if you close your eyes and you just listen, negotiate, 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 negotiate. So those are all of the words for today's lesson. If you want to go back over those words before we practice them together, no problem, you're in control. Just rewind, watch them through again. But right now, I want to put those words into longer sentences to help you practice them more quickly, right? Practice them at pace. And this is often where you get stuck, right? So as you speed up your speech and you start adding extra words and sounds around these words, that's where things get a little tricky and that's exactly what we're about to practice. I'm gonna read it out first. You can listen, but then it's your turn, okay? Make sure you're somewhere where you can practice out loud. After you do it, I'm gonna say it one more time again. Don't forget that you're in control of this video, okay? If you need to pause, listen again, rewind a little, play it again, it's totally up to you. Take your time, do what you need to do to practice. In fact, you can even slow down the speed of this video by using the controls down there. Slow it down to help you really focus on my pronunciation Listen to if you're pronouncing it in the same way, make some adjustments. There is absolutely no problem. You're in control. Right, so you're ready to try with me? I don't want to risk losing this customer. Perhaps we should consider a different option. I don't want to risk losing this customer. Perhaps we should consider a different option. If we don't measure our growth, how will we determine if we're profitable? If we don't measure our growth, how will we determine if we're profitable? The company distributes profits based on the deal negotiated by each stakeholder. The company distributes profits based on the deal negotiated by each stakeholder. I would have never authorized that payment without the contractor accepting our terms.
I would have never authorized that payment without the contractor accepting our terms. Are you happy to answer a few questions about your experience? Are you happy to answer a few questions about your experience? Amy identifies new cultural trends and exchanges ideas with researchers at the university. Amy identifies new cultural trends and exchanges ideas with researchers at the university. Before we present the new strategy to the board, we need to determine the resources needed to deliver it. Before we present the new strategy to the board, we need to determine the resources needed to deliver it. Whenever we purchase new property, we analyze the market to ensure the value is justified. Whenever we purchase new property, we analyze the market to ensure the value is justified. Since developing a new master plan, the number of new residents has multiplied every month. Since developing a new master plan, the number of new residents has multiplied every month. Let's focus on strategies to produce new content to share on our website. Let's focus on strategies to produce new content to share on our website. How'd you do? I know a couple of them were a little bit like a tongue twister, but you did really well to get all the way through them. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson, that you enjoyed the practice. And I wanna know which of those words were especially difficult for you to pronounce. Make sure you spend a little bit of extra time this week practicing those tricky sounds and those tricky words, right? Bookmark this video, come back to it when you need to. It's always gonna be here to help you practice your pronunciation of these tricky English verbs. All of my English lessons can be found over on the mm English blog and the link to the blog is just down in the description below. You can also subscribe to my channel right over there. I make new English lessons every week. So if you want to find out about them, make sure you turn on that notifications bell so that I can let you know when there's a new one ready for you. Speaking of new English lesson, have you checked out that one yet? I'll see you in there.